तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द बैकग्राउंड एंड वॉट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट ऑनलाइन एयरलाइन रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम बिकॉज इन द नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल आई विल टॉक अबाउट द लॉजिकल मॉडल एंड द ई आर डी मॉडल फॉर दैट एयरलाइन रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम राइट एंड दिस बैकग्राउंड इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट वी ड्रॉ एज द लॉजिकल डायग्राम एज द ई आर डी हाउ द थिंग्स आर कनेक्टेड एंड यू विल बी एबल टू मेक सेंस आउट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स बिकॉज इफ आई प्रजेंट टू यू डायरेक्टली दोज ई आर डीज एंड दोज डायग्राम्स दैट विल बी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट सो दैट इज वाई वी विल गो थ्रू सम ऑफ द बैकग्राउंड अबाउट द एयरलाइन रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम ऑनलाइन एयरलाइन रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम लेट्स लुक एट द मॉड्यूल कवरेज तो आई विल गिव यू सम ओवर व्यू एंड इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट सो वॉट इज इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट इन्वेंट्री इज अ सीट इन द एयरलाइन लैंग्वेज इन्वेंट्री इज अ सीट ओके एंड दैट सीट इज ऑल अबाउट इन द एयरलाइन रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम एंड देन समथिंग विच इज ओवर हेयर पी एन आर विच इज द पैसेंजर नेम रेकर्ड एंड ऑफकोर्स इट कंटेन्स सम ऑफ द एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पैसेंजर ऑल्सो एंड ऑफकोर्स द फेयर कोर्ट एंड टिकटिंग हाउ द फेयर इज डिसाइडेड एंड वॉट इज टिकटिंग इज देयर एंड ऑफकोर्स वी विल लर्न मोर एज वी गो एंड डीप इन टू दिस मॉड्यूल so let's look at this so it incorporates the airline schedules fares and tariffs okay distribution of data and gds so what is gds gds is the global distribution system so let me talk about in more detail so what does this incorporates it includes the airline schedules fares tariffs passenger reservations and the ticket records so it contains many useful things right so fare tariffs are there ticket records are there okay and the gds it is the global distribution system now remember that in early days the airlines had their own reservation systems and then it was uh, changed and uh, deregulated and then there are number of companies who are the global distribution systems who are running the reservation systems and different airlines step into it okay users step into it and airlines step into it they all step into it and of course there are travel agencies also and other indirect distribution channels also and some of the airlines have their own for their own operation they have their own reservation systems okay reservation systems and these reservation systems can 98% are ticketless but there are hybrid airlines also so you can see that we have this gds over here and we have these airlines over here and we have all sorts of things hotels are there and car supplies are there and they are connected through this internet booking engine and who is accessing them you as a traveler are accessing them okay and travel agents are accessing them and corporates and all of these things are tied together through this this is the airline reservation system this is the system which we are talking about the online airline reservation system so this is the background so we have internet access also and indirect access also so what is inventory management in the airline industry jargon inventory is a seat it is a seat okay and of course the inventory is uh, business class also seats can be economy class so we have this business class also okay we have this economy class also and there are actually 26 booking classes right and they have different prices and they have different conditions and so on right so they have different booking classes that is understood so inventory data is imported and maintained through a scheduled distribution system over standardized in, uh, interfaces so one of the core functions of inventory management is inventory control and what constitutes inventory control how many seats are available how many seats are available status of the seats how many seats are available and 
opening closing of booking classes for sale and in combination with fares and booking conditions okay looking at the fares and the booking conditions so we have this opening and closing and sale is related to the fare and the price of each sold seat is determined based upon all those things so there's something more also which is the yield management system okay so this performs permanent optimization of what of this booking classes because they have to make money they have to make money okay and this responds to the changes in the demand and respond to the competitor pricing also so this is automated okay this is automated right so this is how the inventory management works so users access an airlines inventory through an availability display okay this is a display over here over okay this is the client okay this is the client and it contains all the offered flights for a particular city pair with available seats and different booking classes okay so cooperating flights connecting flights or legs i will talk about this leg also what is the meaning of the leg if the city pair is not one on which the airline offers service it may display a connection using its own flights or display okay so if this so this you have a over here b over here c over here and if a to c is not present then this is the leg over here i will talk more about it the availability of seats of other airlines is updated through standard industry interfaces so there are other airlines also okay so this is so this is updated also this is updated so what is there in pnr uh, personal information meal request say for example somebody says i want veggie or whatever okay and then there are the flight segments issue tickets etc et and of course profile data to avoid data reentry all right so in addition most systems have interfaces to crm crm which is the loyalty loyalty applications they are also there crm is there and reservation systems so once a flight has departed the reservation system is updated with the list of the checked in passengers and there are no shows also no show okay and there are go shows also go show no show are the people who made the reservation but did not come and go show is the people who did not made the reservation but they came and bought the ticket and then they left left means that they flew they flew okay so these are some of the things which are happening in the background fair code and ticketing so what is the fair data stores fair tariffs rules routing maps class of service tables tax information and all of them is used to construct construct the fair so many things are going here uh, rules what are the rules we are talking about rules like booking conditions minimum stay advance purchase okay and they are tailored differently between different city pairs or zones so from a to b it can be different from a to c it can be different and so on so inventory control okay can be used to manipulate through the availability of fields over here then they are air for uh, ruling coding recommendations and all sorts of things are going so many things are happening over here okay so finally the role of ticketing is complex it is very complex okay this is very complex and a small number of pair tickets are still issued the electronic ticket information is stored in a database containing the data such as the ticket number fare tax components and all those things now the purpose of giving you this background as i said earlier is to make you understand that what is happening behind and what is being used to solve these problems so your task is being a problem solver so that is all i have for you in this module thank you very much